Okay, we will see what happens. I have, uh, I'm retrying the OBS software again, and originally all of this stuff here, I uh, just didn't want to deal with fixing it. But I think I've discovered if you minimize that screen, you should have your uh, normal desktop with uh, the video should still be up in the upper right hand corner, hopefully. Uh, the main reason I'm doing this right now, I'm uh, showing that my TV tuner doesn't quite work the way it's supposed to in Linux. Forgiving. This happens to all the channels, which kind of makes it look like a, a weak sure about signal. And also when you do a channel scan, it only finds these six channels and there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. There's at least eighteen channels that I can pick up in Windows. Although sometimes some of them come in weak. Uh, so it's, it, you know, it is not uh, perfect in our situation. It would work a lot better with cable. I'm just wondering if this software here would work great with cable. I don't know. But anyway, is, this is what happens. You can... If you move the antenna... Yes. Wonderful. Just have it delivered to the house. You can tell it's a little stronger, but not near enough. Got everyone waiting for a statement. Anyway, that's it. I was hoping somebody could help me figure out what can I, I do. I know where the files are. To okay, listen. This. When we went to Bright's office, he got a call. Right? He said it was about a rug. It was Amanda. She was calling him about the document. And on that note. I'm going to end and see how that video turns out. Okay, the main reason uh, I'm running this application today, right now, within Windows, is I'm trying to show that my TV tuner works inside Hi, of happened? Windows. Benny made a fool of himself. <laughs> when the minister said, do you take this woman, he tried to take her right there. <laughs> Took three ushers to pry him loose. <laughs> I thought see, they were stopping by to have a glass of champagne on the way to the airport. Oh, I don't know. They were right behind us when we parked the car. <laughs> so, bottom line is, uh, MX Linux 21.3 uh, I like it a lot. It's a uh, so far it seems pretty stable. Uh, the webcam um, worked out of the box. The scanner, I discovered that uh, an old scanner I had uh, when I upgraded from Windows XP to Windows 7 didn't work, so I bought ViewScan, uh, Windows Edition, and I found out they had a Linux Edition, and lo and behold, uh, I put in my email address in the registration, my customer number and uh, my license number, and it licensed the software also on uh, Linux. So um, that's pretty cool. Right now it's warming up the lamp, as you can see down here. Um, here she comes. So the scanner works, the webcam works, uh, 
just that TV tuner problem is really the only uh, problem I've got, got getting this particular PC to work. Um, now most people, a lot of people, very few people would have that issue. Not many people put a TV tuner in their PC. As you can see, it scanned that page. So I'm going to get out. Uh, this is a cute little tool it's got over here. Uh, you can change the things that it shows on the desktop. Uh, this is a 12 year old PC, but the reason I like it is it's got the A AMD Phenom 2 6 core chip running at about 2.5 gigahertz. I've got 8 gig of RAM. I've got a terabyte Windows drive. I put in a 250 gig drive just for this Linux. I've got a uh, external drives for storage, of course. Uh, and the bottom line is, I, I like this a lot if I could just get the TV tuner to work. So that's it for now. We appreciate y'all.